Hi, I'm Tex Rice and I'm a boudoir photographer. I'm here today to talk to you about the tips and tricks I've picked up in my industry over the last 13 years as a photographer. It's really important to think about your model's feelings on set as well, as we can get so caught up in what we're doing as photographers, as sometimes we can forget that we're making concentration faces and scowling at the back of our cameras. Remember to check in with your model every so often and make sure that if you are having any difficulties, make sure that they realize that actually it's something that you're doing with the settings and not necessarily something they're doing wrong. When working with boudoir photography, it's really worth thinking about the angle that you're shooting from. If you're shooting from above and looking down on your model, it's going to appear quite submissive. Whereas if you're shooting from lower and looking up on the model, they're going to appear more dominant in the shot. Play around with both and see what you feel most comfortable with. But if you're looking for female empowerment, maybe start from the mid waist and go down to get that real empowerment in those shots. Boudoir photography can be all about the poses, but sometimes it's the moments between the moments that really count. Pose your models as you want them to look in the photos and guide them into those, but have a look at what their natural body movements are doing because you may find the nuances of their natural body movement are actually perfect shots that you're looking for. When photographing boudoir, consider the lens that you might want to put on your camera. A wide lens is going to create more of a narrative setting the scene and showing everything that's going on around the pose. So if you're in a really glamorous location, you might find some epic areas that you might want to include in your scene. On the other hand, you may want to zoom in a little bit, maybe looking at sort of like a 90 to a 135 focal length for your portraits, uh, which will be far more flattering, whereas a wide angle, everything will be slightly distorted. Both can work in your favor. It's not saying one is better than the other, um, but if you are shooting close up to the body, uh, it's better to shoot with a portrait lens than perhaps wide. Don't necessarily assume that everyone is going to want everything removed from their body. So have that conversation with the client in the most respectful manner possible and see what they want and how they want to be represented in their photos. I hope these tips have been helpful and they help you progress your boudoir photography. For more hints, tips and tricks, you can find me via my socials below. Good luck with your photography.